welcome to Saints. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's exciting. This is the one time I wanted to go to that talked to me a bunch. I just fell in love with them. Yeah, we saw the the video of you getting picked and you, you kind of stood up and like uh, Marcus Freeman just told us it was like you flipped the switch and you're just the intensity just came out. Can you just explain that moment a little bit? It was just like in motion, you can't you can't bottle in, you can't, you just gotta let it go. That's what happened. I just family all around me. It just, I don't know, like in that moment, you just gotta do what you had to do. And I just stood up. Got like I was about to run through that TV. I was like, I'm ready to go right now. Uh, you mentioned that this is a team that you've, you've spoken to quite a bit. I know you went to the Senior Bowl. Did y'all have other conversations all throughout? And did you have a feeling that this might be on the way? That this would be the team that you would hear your name? Yeah, so I, I met with them during a the pro day. Um, doing a lot of uh, film work with them. Met them in the, uh, at the Combine. Talked with them a bunch. Did a whole bunch of Zoom meetings with them. So this is a team I talked to so much. Fell in love with them. Love the coaches. Started talking to them a lot. And just the vibe of the whole team is New Orleans. Man. I just I, this is like the team I wanted to go to. I kept telling everybody I want to go to this team. This is the team I want to go to. And what was it? What was it that stood out to you that made you identify the Saints as the team you wanted to go to? But uh, just I wanted to be underneath a not underneath, but like working with a vet like Cam Jordan. That's the guy that I feel like that's the that's the Hall of Famer type of guy, and I can learn from him, be a sponge and soak it all in, but like compete at the same level as him. I can be trying to go on the other side of him or be him so that was like the biggest thing I wanted to do be underneath a vet be with the vet and New Orleans was a great thing yeah Cam Jordan right there does it mean something extra to you that they've used their first two picks to get defensive linemen defense means something here yeah it definitely does I want to go on a team that is defense and d-line pretty much oriented since the first pick with Brian Breesey me and him is going to be dominating the, uh, the front seven so that's great Isaiah, what was your day like? Can you talk about it leading up to the uh, phone call? What was my day leading up to it? Yeah, what was your whole day like just thinking about it, that it could would happen tonight? Well, just thinking about it. Like I said before, I wanted to go to St. Louis. Like, I was just thinking about it, saying it to everyone, like, this is a team I want to go to, trying to speak it into existence. And you know what? It, it worked. It worked, man. How would you say that um, you will most immediately impact the New Orleans Saints defense when you get here? How will I? Mm -hmm. I just being myself. That's the best thing I can do is be myself. And myself is just being a great leader, being a sponge, being like learning from a guy like Cam Jordan. And that's just being me and just being a relentless pass rusher. That's the guy I am on, on the defense. Where, where are you at right now? <laughs> I'm back home. <laughs> I'm back home. Yeah, you were like outside out in the yard or where? Like, it's just interesting background. Yeah, I'm, out, I'm outside right now in the backyard. And was you got your whole, your coach? Is the coaching staff with you or who'd you have? Yeah, my head coach and my position coach is here. That's awesome. Um, Coach Washington mentioned your ability to play a bunch of different places. Coach Freeman just mentioned, you know, moving you all around. How how much does your versatility serve as a trademark to your game, and how much does it mean to go to a place that utilizes uh, rotation and versatility a ton in their defense? It just means a lot. Like the Saints pick me, they know they can put me anywhere, and they know I'm a disruptive type of defensive end. That's what I try to do. These sacks are not good enough. You get a sack, I'm trying to go for the ball. So they know that they know I'm a disruptive defensive end. Get me on the field, I'll cause havoc. So that's what they wanted to do. So they draft me. They know you can put me inside, outside. Even pick me a linebacker if they need to. Coach Freeman um, was talking about how much you love learning technique, and he said you like learning the martial arts of technique, which I thought was such an interesting term. Is that how you view it? Like viewing past learning past rushing techniques is like learning like a fighting style almost? It pretty much is because you're in the trenches. That's why I am in the trenches inside, and you're fighting against 300 pound guys. So I got I got to use my speed, use my leverage to my advantage, but that's why I am, that's what I do. I'm a yeah. big guy, but I also have speed. So I pretty much, yeah, you, you think of it like martial, martial arts, but I think of it like boxing, but that's something I started picking up and started using uh, using my hands a lot better. So you have you used boxing like as a, like do you do that in addition to your football workouts or was that something you ever did to try to get better at that? That's something I started picking up probably in high school. And I just, every time I had like free time, I just started going back to boxing 
sorry, but that's like a different type of cardio too, but it's just great with hand-eye coordination and just, I feel like it's translated great onto the field. Is there anything else you do like similar to that or anything unique you do to try to make yourself a better lineman? Uh, just extra work, film work, but like all that stuff is like what everyone else does, but I feel like I just feel in a lot more than probably regular people, but boxing is like the one outside of the box that a lot of people don't do, that don't do. What are some areas of your game you think you can improve by learning from someone like Cam? I feel like I can learn from him. I feel like just pass for his arsenal. Like, I'm not Cam Jordan. I'm not him. But I can learn through him and see what he can do. He can teach me moves that he's seen, like, my type of body, what I can do, going through practice, just trying to learn from him, my pass for his type of arsenal, my go-to moves. I know my go-to move is, it might be different in NFL. So I pretty much just want to learn from him. Isaiah, how, how many times have you been to New Orleans? <laughs> None. I haven't. I've not been to New Orleans, but I, I'm happy to go there now. What, what's your impression of the city? I mean, do you have one at all? Or what's the reputation? No, I just know gumbo, crawfish. Like good. <laughs> I, know. I know I'm going to be eating good for sure. <laughs> Do you like the idea that your coach, head coach, has more of a defensive mindset given that Dennis Allen was the D.C. here for so long, too? Yeah, yeah, I, I really do. Because Coach Freeman was a defensive coordinator before, before he became head coach. And I feel like that just embodies, like, the whole defense uh, culture and the whole team culture. You rely, you, rely, you rely more on the defense when it's a defensive type of head coach. I feel like that's just a great plus for us. And they rely on the D-line. It starts with us. I'm going to have to say hi to Coach Kelly when you get down here, too. <laughs> I know. I, I definitely will. I'll, I'll stop by LSU. Thanks, Thanks so much. Congratulations, man. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Isaiah.